let's just let's just talk. So what I was okay. going to talk about today is um, the difference between intentional movement and like working out. Okay. Um, it's obviously it's great to like exercise and have like a structured workout. You know, it's good to build muscle. Mm -hmm. Um, it's more intense, like all the things that's really good. Um, like weight training gain, um, burns less calories during, right. But mm -hmm. more calories kind of post, it's kind of more a long game type of, type of workout. Um, okay. like muscle builds, you know, when you build muscle, you burn more calories throughout the day, that kind of thing. So it's kind of more of a long game, cal more calorie burn and, um, cardio is more of a short game. Like you will burn a whole bunch right away and then not the rest of the day. So what I okay. want to talk about is intentional movement, like n not either one of those things, um, but like making walking. Like when I think of intentional movement, when I think of this, I think of walking. Um, mm -hmm. Christy one time said, there's never been a weight loss season that I've been in that I haven't been walking. Right. Um, a lot of people are like, oh yeah, I did. A, I, I went to the gym. Now I'm going to go for a run. Like if we do that kind of stuff too much, we actually stress our bodies out and we're actually not recovering. Um, yeah. And so that's where, why intentional movement comes in is, and it's so important because it burns calories, but it's not stressful because it keeps our, you know, our heart rate stay, stays down. Right, and so right. I, I hear a lot, this is what I hear a lot. I crush it in the CrossFit gym. I mean, I go so hard. Like I don't have any energy left to do any intentional movement. I don't have time in my life. Like I'm good. Like I hear that a lot. And yeah. I think it doesn't matter if you crush it in the CrossFit gym <laughs> and I CrossFit. So I, I yeah. say this. it doesn't really matter if you crush it in the CrossFit gym, because depending on what you're doing the rest of the day, maybe you're, you know, maybe you're at work sitting at a desk or just something with not a lot of movement. That's considered right. a sedentary, that's considered a sedentary lifestyle. So it's like, yeah. um, have you ever heard the saying fidgeters burn more calories? No, no. And it's just that's because good though. I do you fidget. <laughs> Sometimes but, I do, but I know a lot of fidgeters though. <laughs> um, it's just more in the constant, like intentional movement that, that yeah. like burns calories and really, really helps for weight loss. Cause some people don't want to fit walking in. I don't know. Maybe some people can't wrap their minds around, you know, maybe it's too slow. See, maybe that's, it's boring. That's, that's what I do though. I mean, right now with my my back issues in that, that's mm -hmm. about all I can do. Like I was really excited last week because I got to go on the elliptical. So I did the elliptical for 15. Well, I was about 20 minutes and then I did my treadmill just walking. You know, that's my cool down kind of thing, you yeah. know, because my legs get so pumped from doing the elliptical that I'm like, okay, yeah. I got to do something because <laughs> I got to get them relaxed because I'm like walking around like Lou Ferrigno, <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that, and that's also just a good kind of, you know, where you get some more calories, but you're not stressing your body out. Right. Um, right. And so I think that walking is underestimated, like intentional movement is under, uh, underestimated and people mm -hmm. don't want to fit it in. There's all kinds of excuses. I've heard all kinds of excuses and I've had lots of excuses of why I yeah, don't want to yeah. walk. <laughs> Well, and I have to, I have to put that intentional movement in. Otherwise mm -hmm. I get so stiff. I'm in so much pain because I have a herniated disc and mm -hmm. it flared up really bad this past couple weeks. And instead of it only taking me like two minutes to get the soreness out, it's taking 20 minutes to get the soreness oh, out. No. Yeah. And that's walking for 20 minutes or doing something. And it's so painful that it's like, I don't want to do it. I just don't want to do it. And, yeah. um, that's one of the reasons why I went back to the office is because I was actually getting movement a lot more in the office because I have a 10 minute walk to go from the parking ramp to my office. Yeah. And then, you know, and I always take two 15 minute breaks every day. So I, my 15 minute breaks, I, I walk for 15 minutes on each yeah, of those breaks. That. So, yeah, I, I mean, that. that's just something that I do. And, you know, here I was, you know, Terry first got us all involved with the 10,000 steps every day. So I was walking mm -hmm. around every day and my husband was like, you're walking the soles off your shoes. And I'm like, actually <laughs> I am. I need to get no more tennis shoes. <laughs> but I mean, we had all these challenges at work and everything. And so when she asked me to do this challenge, you know, the, the plateau buster, yeah. that's when I got it. That's when I really got into fit me. And I was just like, why did I wait so long? 
I know. I know. It's very true. But, yeah. Um, it's very true. Um, I'm just going to say, oh, the thing about the steps, like sometimes, and I've gotten into this myself, like having the streaks and not wanting to, you know, break the yeah. streaks of 10,000 yeah. steps. <laughs> and it seems, it seems a little Nazi, you know, and it seems like it starts going the other direction. Like, oh my God, I got to walk around the table 10 times or whatever, a hundred times before I go to bed. But it's more just about like making sure you get intentional movement. <laughs> but I think sometimes we forget about that when we're like, Shah, I can't break the streak. I had a girl go one full year without breaking a streak. I was oh. like, dang, wow. girl. <laughs> yeah. I think my longest one was 144 days. Wow. That's and good. I was even, we even traveled to go on vacation. And I told my husband, I was like, I got to get my 10,000. <laughs> and so he's like, what are you going to do? I said, I'm going to walk around the parking lot. I walked around the hotel <laughs> parking lot. He walked with me for some of it. Because our, you know, our um, health fitness for our work, we're supposed to get 8,000 steps a day. So I was like, well, 10,000. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like, now I'm lucky if I get the eight, you know, I've already got yeah. all my points for um, our health, our health benefits and everything. So I've got that done. So I don't have to worry about that, but it's just, you know, getting back into the groove of it and trying not to overexert myself. And, you know, I couldn't tell if it, because I got on the elliptical, if that hurt me or mm -hmm. if it loosened it up because mm -hmm. I was already in pain. And then I was like, oh, I'll do the elliptical. Because when I'm exercising, you know, walking, doing the elliptical, doing my recumbent bike, um, I'm fine. I don't have any pain it's sitting After. down and getting back up. Yeah. So it's just well, that motion of the sitting down and getting back up. That is killer. That sounds awful. Um, I know, you know, the body likes movement and it doesn't yeah. have to be like balls to the wall movement. It just likes no. movement. Yeah. And when, when it's not there, it, it hurts. And so yeah. at least you can move and not be in pain. Like that, that's, that's true. Deal. I gotta, you know, the mornings are really bad for me and I have to like yesterday, I only sat for very little times and little small spurts, because if I sit for longer than like 20 minutes, I'm right where I started at the mm -hmm. beginning. So, and then it's like, Oh my God. So I got down on the bike like three or four times yesterday just to, <laughs> That's awesome. just to do it for like 15 minutes at a time and get my time in. And I'm just like, well, I got my time in. I'm good. Now I'm just doing it. You know, I do it until I'm like, okay, I think it's stretched out now. Now I can walk around. Okay. Yeah. But it's like, well, even, you know, even 15 minutes at a time, like if you have two 15 minutes breaks and then you're walking into the office for 10 minutes, that's like. You yeah, know, that's 40 minutes. Like that's yeah, a big I deal. get I get I get my intentional um movement in, you know, my 30 minutes of intentional movement in every time I go to the office. Well, actually I do it Monday through Friday because I do take my 15 minute breaks. I have to. You gotta get away from the desk, you know. Clear oh, your mind, I agree. You know, I, and yeah, that's what I do for myself. You know, I started it when we came home from for COVID, you know. We were working from home and I'm like, I got to get out of here. <laughs> I, I, I work with my husband. So it's like me and my husband are both in the same space, you know, and we're at work, we're, we're aisles apart. But yeah, here, exactly. like, he's right next to me. I'm just like, hmm? <laughs> You're, oh, shit, I love you. Here. <laughs> yeah. I love you, but uh, don't love you that much. No, yeah, I'll be, I'm going on a walk. I'm going on a yeah, walk. Yeah, I'm going on a walk. <laughs> Well, it's a different kind of accountability, buddy, to keep you walking, I guess. Yes. That's, that's funny. Well, good. I'm glad that you um, make that a priority because it's like I said, yeah. especially even not in a weight loss season, our body just likes to move and mm -hmm. your back would probably be a hundred times worse if you just sat all the time. Exactly. Because that's what I did at first because it hurt so bad. And, but that's when I gained my weight too. And I was just like, what the heck? Yeah. You know? And I was like, I gained, you know, I gained five pounds, but it was five pounds that I didn't need to gain anyway. Mm -hmm. So um, just keeping the walking up and then, you know, you know, I was in physical therapy and they're like, you know, keep, keep movement because that's what you want to do. And so each little step that I'm making. So I'm like the number one cheerleader for fit me right now. Cause I'm like, <laughs> you know what I told I Terry? It. 
you know, cause I'm like, I'm still losing weight. I, I'm losing like a pound, like every week, week and a half. That's awesome. And I said, and I'm not even working out. I said, I'm just doing the intentional movement. I said, I'm not even doing workouts or anything like that because I want to get, you know, my belly, my top gut. I want to get rid of it. I don't mind the bottom gut. Bottom gut can stay. <laughs> it can do that. Top cut's got to go. <laughs> it's just got to go. You're funny. <laughs> well, it's nice. It's nice that you, you know, you're doing the intentional movement and it's working yeah. because that's what sometimes people are just working out. And it's not yeah. working and they don't know why, but they don't want to fit the intentional movement in because, um, like I said, fidgeters burn more calories. It just, yeah, it is what it is. And yeah. so that's awesome. That's awesome. Cool. Well, yeah. I guess that's it. <laughs> <laughs> this wonderful go fly that me. I have with me. Yeah, go oh go yeah. Me. I got yeah. some of those too. <laughs> Well, it was really, do you want, do you have anything else you want to talk about? Uh, no, not really. No. Did you listen to the call last night? Yeah, I was on the call last night. Yeah. And what did you think about the, that and the fat and like hidden fats? And um, it was really interesting because then I went back and I looked at my, because I do mine through the, uh, the Fitbit app mm-hmm. and I started looking through it and I'm not getting enough fat. So I was like, Interesting. oh, okay. So, okay. So I need to redo some things because like the past week I've only been getting like, you know, 15% fat Yeah. instead of, you know, the 30%. And I'm like, well, do I want to add it or am I not calculating it right? And am I not putting in what I'm actually eating? And that could be a little bit too, because, you know, I do put you know, some butter on my baked potato that I wasn't yeah. putting in. So that is yeah. probably, I probably am getting enough, but it was, yeah. I did like how she, I just like all of it. I mean, I'm like, I, I'm and like that was so a good, into this and it was, the, it was good because I just liked the fact of her describing it because mm-hmm. if you've I heard it a hundred times, being able to put it to where you can understand it and use it in your daily lives is totally mm-hmm. different. I agree. And I loved when she said that dietary fat has nothing to do with body fat. That's yes. cal- that's calories yes. that have to do with that. I was like, <gasps> right. Well, like, yeah. Like, I mean, we're just so ingrained that fat equals fat. Right. Um, right. That, that I think we get scared of fat. And that's, that's what kind of freaked me out a little bit is there, you know, when you did the, the fit me plates and they're like, oh, and don't forget about your fats. And I'm like, huh? Yeah. Never heard that. Never heard yeah. that, you know? And I thought, you know, I thought being on doing the fit me plates and everything was going to be so tough. And especially with the no sugar. And I'm finding that, you know, I still may want it, but I'm not giving in the cravings. I don't have it in my house for one thing. And then for another, when I do go shopping, it's like the one day I went grocery shopping and I was like, well, I'll get a hostess cupcake if they're in this aisle. <laughs> You'll turn and I went and looked, I'm like, oh, they're in that aisle. I got to go to the next aisle. Oh, they're in that aisle too. <laughs> Finally went to the self-checkout because they didn't have them in that aisle. It's just like, what get a strange game that yeah. I played with myself. <laughs> I know, but I also think that eating fit me plates because there's more nutritionally sound and we're getting what we need. We don't yeah. crave that extra, like, uh, That's like when I crave too. sugar, yeah, it's when I crave sugar, it's when I'm tired and it's like, I, my body like just wants that fast energy. Mm-hmm. And so when I'm eating like fit me plates, I just don't have that as much. I have more of a, it's more up here and it's easier. It's easier like to be like, oh, I want a cookie. No, I don't. Than it is when my body's like, give me cookie. You know, <laughs> I totally understand that. that. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) You feel like the cookie monster. I want cookie. Exactly. Exactly. So that, that made me realize that I'm not getting enough fat, like in my fit me plates and I'm getting more fat from like the 24. (laughs) (laughs) And so I got to rearrange some things. That was a good call. That was a really good call. Yeah, it was. Cause I was, you know, and, and then I was, you know, we went to, uh, Chili's with my daughter and my husband and my in-laws on Sunday or Saturday. 
and they're all eating chips and queso and salsa. And I'm just like, eh. no, because I don't want that to ruin my food. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I love it. And my daughter's <laughs> like, I was like, oh, I'm not going to have that. And she's like, what? I was like, doesn't go on my fit me play, man. I was like, but the salad that I got was like phenomenal. It had fruits, it had veggies, it had chicken. And then I got a side of rice for my carb. And I was like, this is perfect. And I was full. I couldn't even finish the whole salad. There was so much fruit on it. I'm like, I can't eat all that fruit because it was a lot of fruit. I mean, there was pineapple and there was oranges and dried cranberries and then cucumbers and tomatoes. And I mean, it was just, it was a great salad. That's I mean, awesome. My mouth is watery just thinking about it. I know, I'm like, God, so I, I have to fix myself it. salad tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so Julia, it was really awesome talking to you and nice meeting you finally. Oh, it was nice meeting you too, Leah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, I, I have too. a great night. You too. Alrighty, you bye-bye. Later. Okay, bye. Bye. Only one.